हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन आवर लास्ट क्लास वी वर स्टार्टिंग अबाउट मेटल्स नॉन मेटल्स एंड मेटोलाइट्स वी ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स लेट इज कंटिन्यू विद द सेम टॉपिक लेट मी हेल्प यू टू रिकॉल अ टर्म कॉल्ड स्टेबिलिटी इन एटम्स वॉट इज स्टेबिलिटी एटम्स आर मोस्ट स्टेबल वेन दे आउटर मोस्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन शेल इज फुल most of the elements need eight electrons in the outermost shell in order to be stable now we have studied this in our earlier classes that this this outermost shell is called valence shell and the number of electrons present is the valency now each atom wants to have eight electrons in the outermost shell to be stable if the outermost shell contains eight electrons then the atom is considered stable so the most of the elements need eight electrons in the outermost shell so to be stable what atom will do it will gain lose or share electrons to complete eight electrons in the outermost shell now this is attaining stability in chemistry stability means less reactive or unreactive state that means if an element is stable that means it will not take part in a chemical reaction it will be in less reactive state or unreactive state with low energy let us see the stability in metals non metals and metalloids the atoms of metals show tendency of donating electrons from their valency shell to attain stability metals want to give away want to lose their electrons to gain stability so they have a property to lose electrons such as sodium magnesium potassium calcium aluminum they have tendency of donating electrons to attain stability while non non metals have a tendency of accepting electrons in their valency shell they want to have gain electrons in their valence shell so that they could be stable so that they could have eight electrons in their outermost shell such elements are phosphorus sulfur chlorine they have tendency of gaining electrons now some elements may accept or donate electrons depending on depending on the elements they react with such elements are metalloids so in metalloids it is not sure that they will accept or donate electrons it depends upon that element with which they are reacting such metals such uh, elements are metalloids uh, and the example are silicon antimony germanium boron etc they are metalloids you know what is valency shell this this is the valency shell the outermost shell is the valency shell and the outermost the number of electrons in the outermost shell is the valency the outermost shell of an atom is called the valence shell and the number of electrons present in the valence shell is the valency of the element now let us study this table there is a list of elements here sodium magnesium aluminum silicon phosphorus sulfur chlorine and argon and their atomic number we have atomic number is the number of protons and this is also the number of electrons so if they have 11 electrons we will arrange these 11 electrons in the electronic configuration first orbit will have two electrons next orbit will have eight electron and last outermost shell outermost orbit will have one electron so the number of electrons present in the outermost shell the valency shell is called the valency so the valency of sodium is 1 it wants to lose one electron and it is metal same with magnesium it has two electrons in its outermost shell so it wants to lose these two electrons and it is also metal aluminum silicon they have 3 and 4 electrons in their outermost shell they uh, aluminum is metalloid while uh, aluminum is metal while silicon is a metalloid because it may gain four electrons or it may lose these four electrons to complete its orbit the number 8 to to get eight 
electrons in the outermost shell it may take four more electrons from some other element or it may donate these four electrons to some other element so this is a metalloid while phosphorus sulfur and chlorine they wants to gain electrons phosphorus wants to gain three more electrons then 5 plus 3 will become 8 here sulfur it has six electron in its outermost shell it wants to have two more electrons then the number will become eight and chlorine wants to have one more electron then the number will become eight then they will attain stability these are non metals because they want to gain electrons while argon has already eight electron in its outermost shell so it is a noble gas it is non reactive it is already stable because eight is the number which all the all the elements want to have in their outermost shell so it is already stable there are few more elements like argon we will study about them argon does not gain or lose any electrons to attain stability because it is already stable the valency of argon is zero because none of the electrons are taking part in the chemical reaction So such elements are known as noble gases neon xenon krypton are the gases which have eight electrons in their outermost shell and they are called noble gases sodium magnesium and aluminum have 1 2 and 3 valencies respectively we have studied here 1 2 and 3 electrons while the valency of silicon is 4 phosphorus has 5 electrons in its outermost shell and it wants to accept 3 electrons here it wants to accept 3 electrons 3 more electrons so this will become 288 then similarly the valency of sulfur is 2 and chlorine is 1 now here are some more noble elements which are neon helium argon radon krypton xenon they do not give or accept electrons because they are already stable so they are called nobles students this is it for today keep studying thank you